Alrighty, uh, we are back. Um, so Matt, you should explain to the good people what yeah. you just found out about the damn black belt. Yeah, so um, I was looking up, you know, guide references and all that because we're playing Final Fantasy 1 and it's dumb with the lack of explanations and everything. And we figured out that um, the black belt's um, absorption slash defense for this is literally equal to his level at all times so if you equip armor that has a lesser value then you're literally keeping your black belt weaker so since he's level six his absorption naturally is six points but with the equipment we had on him his absorption was only two points so putting shit on him was making him weaker yep and now, also, if what I'm reading is correct, not having him with the nunchucks now is pretty much the right time to do it. So we're about to test that out. And hope that what I read is accurate. Hope. Two hits, 22 damage. Oh yeah, he's taking a significant cool. amount of damage. <laughs> Only four damage, wow. Yeah, that, that's a big difference. So guys, we're going to take a quick pause. Yeah, we'll be yeah. right back, guys. Yeah! Alrighty, guys, we are back. Sorry about that. We had a little bit of technical difficulties, yeah. but we are back. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're back. We're still alive. Token was taking less damage, but he's still taking a good amount of damage. Ugh. Gotta make my way to the keep. Yeah, we're going to check out the keep this episode. That is the plan. That's a lot of great wolves. Gray or great? I don't know which they're supposed to be. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be great wolves. Okay. Or maybe it just stands for Gur Wolf. <laughs> See you guys, everybody in B Major Gaming hates me. I accurate. Give us a like if you agree. <laughs> Worth a shot. No. <laughs> no, your punishment, you now have to speak this whole freaking play this whole episode have fun what horrible thing should i talk about then i don't care oh you don't care what i talk about oh this is gonna be fun uh, let's see keep, i mean <laughs> <laughs> no nah, i know um well actually i meant to tell you that uh ali was telling me about something um that her friend was doing that uh you know her friend rachel mm -hmm. um Apparently, there's this thing that um, she's doing this year that she found out about, where it's like a um, like an uh, like worldwide scavenger hunt or something, where it's done for like charity and stuff. And what it is is like um, you can sign up for it. It costs some money to sign up for, and then the money goes to you know the charity or whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, what it is is like once you sign up, you. Can, you, it usually works where it's supposed to be like you have to have like a group of 10 people sign up for it and then you know you can like be in that group with your friends or whatever mm -hmm. and what it is is that then you play the scavenger hunt and you have a chance of like winning these cool prizes if it's like your group does the best in the scavenger hunt mm -hmm. and so and it's like pretty good prizes from what I remember I think Ali told me that like there's like um trips and stuff that you can win doing it and things like that Oh, what well, that actually sounds rewarding. Yeah, and she was that. going to, um, you know, suggest it to us, but literally, like, the day she found out about it was the day that it, like, their, uh, like, registration for it was closing. Oh, my God. So it's something that we're going to have to, that we could look into maybe doing, like, next year or something, which would be really cool, I think. If, like, you know, all the members of E Major Gaming could jump in on that or something. That would be nice. And then, who knows, maybe if we have some open spaces... We could see if like some of our fans wanted to jump in with us or something. That would be cool. Yeah. So I was actually thinking about that. And I did want to bring that up. 
Um, so guys, in the comment section, let us know if you'd be interested in doing something like that, or if you've done it before, like, if you know about it or if you've done it. Give us more information on it, we'd like to know. Yes. Or anything like that, like, we love doing stuff, like, with charities and things, like, we consistently want to do stuff like that. Yes, and most of the leave comments on anything regardless, you know, um, both positive and negative, because we do respond to both, um... If you uh, just got some feedback for us in general, yeah. respond to us. Talk to us. We'd like to know. Yeah, we we full on want to hear from our fans and our viewers and everything. When did Toki get down to 36 hours? You know what? When did Toki get down to, <laughs> to 14 health? <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't question his health anymore because it seems to go badly for him. But, um, yeah, because, like, the last one that we did was, like, I I still love the fact that we did that when we helped out, um, Team MZ. Yes. Shout out to Team MZ. Yes, we are a part of Team MZ. If you go to our Twitter page, you see that. Um, actually, we should probably check and see what they're doing the next charity stream. Yeah, I'm guessing it'll probably be sometime soon, because they said that they try to do it once every season, pretty much, right? Yes. So, yeah. Yeah, we need. To, yeah, we'll need to catch up with them and check with them because I loved doing it for uh, the last one. It yeah, was great. Yeah, it was actually quite fun. Yep. And from what I saw, they got a decent result out of it too. Mm -hmm. Made some decent money to help out with the charity. Which that brings me to another point, guys. Don't forget that we also stream. So you know, follow us on our Twitch as well, which you can find all of our links. Uh, we have a link on our page, right? We have to, that set up? To, to our stream and everything? Um... Or do we not have that set up yet? Yeah, uh... On our... You talking about our YouTube page? Yeah. I think so. I mean, even if you don't, if you go to our Twitter page, you see us constantly post. Yeah. The best thing to do... Listen. The best thing to do for you guys is to follow us on social media. Yep. Um... Uh, I know we're not really talking about Final Fantasy right now, but still, like, we... We have almost... 1500 followers on Twitter yeah. and um we uh really and you know I know in the long run it ain't shit but um yeah go ahead and um like us on you know Twitter follow us on Twitter like us on Facebook um you'll know it's us because we have our iconic logo yep. um so yeah most definitely follow us in places you know what I don't understand hmm. I don't understand how so many like YouTubers, they have that one video where they're like, "Yeah, you know," and I, I never knew what happened for me. You know, it was just one day I woke up and, bam, a million views, and I'm just like, "How? How sorry?" Yep. I have to use the rest of your key spells. One you. Which that brings me to another thing because um I've been. I mean, one reason why we were so into doing this is because we actually like watching a lot of the YouTubers and stuff. So, and, um, like, I personally watch um, Philip DeFranco to get a lot of my news information from, and um, I watch a Game Grumps just because I think they're entertaining, Markiplier, you know, a couple shoutouts to some really great people that I enjoy watching. But um, they've also made a great point of just the fact that, like, just like a lot of other things, especially when it comes to like Move back. entrepreneurship Move. and stuff, like we know and we realize that, you know, nothing's guaranteed and that's why we're trying to put in the work for this. Like we don't think that it's just going to happen for us. It would be nice if that happened one day and we True. just woke up and, oh, look, a million views on one of our videos or something. That'd be great. But we don't expect that to happen without dedication and work either. Oh, I should. I should probably actually go speak to him. Yeah. <laughs> I was just yeah, like, I was like, you're, you're just gonna try and ransack the ransack his castle and, and then leave. Bounce. <laughs> what the damn dark oh, elf. so good. Spoilers alert: he's not a good guy. That's a mate. I'm like, that is actually kind of a big plot point of this game too. Oh, tits. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like. Uh, <laughs> Astos double-crossed us. Go south to the cave of Marsh. 
to retrieve the crown, then bring it directly back to me. Good job. Man. You like that king voice? No, no, I really did not like it. <laughs> it's, it, I, 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 I can't. Well, don't you, don't you want to know why he's left all alone in this castle? Do I have to go south? It's because of that voice. Whatever, Matt. Do I have to go south? Yeah. You remember that marsh that you didn't want to go into? Oh, I'm pretty sure that's exactly where we need to go now. <laughs> Look at this, we're actually living in these fights, kind of, sort of. Mad, don't jinx us. I know. I know exactly what I just did. <laughs> I will state right now, and I'm going to bring it back up again when we get to this, to that game as well. Final Fantasy's Final Fantasy IV's Dark Elf is the one that I hate the most out of all Dark Elves in like the Final Fantasy universe. Just because of his entire dungeon. It's so dumb. Mm. Because in that dungeon you're not allowed to have any uh, metal. Oh yeah. yeah, I remember that place. So literally you have to rely on magic and a monk. And hope that the other characters don't die pretty much. It's so dumb. Excuse me. The one thing about this game I remember distinctively because I... I, I accidentally stumbled upon oh my god terminate it was in this game we're gonna get to a part and there is a hallway called the hall of giants mm -hmm. where every single step you take is an encounter yep literally every step and I I don't I don't like that place it's literally just a hallway like there's no mm -hmm. distinctive color or anything I looked it up and it's, I mean, because I was like, why am I getting my ass kicked all of a sudden? And I looked it up and it was like, oh, you probably you should go to this love path, beware, it's called the, the Hall of Giants. And sneaky shit like that, like, I understand why they did it in games, because they needed to have some way to for these games to have uh, stability right. and longevity, because... This was the Wild Wild West of video games. Mm -hmm. The 80s and the early 90s was still the Wild Wild West of oh, yeah. video games. So They had to add in some stuff in a lot of these games where it was practically impossible because that helped prolong the game. Mm -hmm. Gave you more stuff to do. Because, you know, we the first Final Fantasy game does not have a new game plus. Like, literally, that is its new game plus. Like, oh, well, I remember that one area that was really hard. Let me see if I can go back and fight those now or something. Mm. Not that I ever did that, I knew better. Mm -hmm. I just kept on playing through the game. <laughs> but yeah, like... It is evil, though, because... Which, that reminds me, in Final Fantasy 2, there's... At the very beginning of the game, if you go in the wrong direction, you instantly fight enemies you should not be fighting until, like, almost the halfway point of the game. Which is so dumb. Yeah, that's not fun. Yeah. Let's fucking one damage to this thing. Going back to what you were saying in the last episode, I believe it was, I really do love the uh, cin the new cinematics they did for all the old games and stuff, like Final yeah. Fantasy 1, Final Fantasy 2, and Final Fantasy 3. Like, I love the new opening cinematics that they did for them. Jesus Christ. Major damage. Ooh, 15 whole points of damage. I'm listening. I'm just... <laughs> You're just complaining. I don't blame you. I mean, I have to conserve my MP. Right. Because we're trying to get somewhere. Well, the good thing is we still have the tents, right? Yes. So as long as we conserve the MP, we're, we can use the tents, and we're not losing out on the MP at least. So, yeah. I do think that on average, Token is probably doing more damage now. I feel like that's the case. I could be wrong. I just feel like that's the case. Maybe some false memories. Alright, it's finally terminated. That's one down. And ineffective, of course. That's the other thing they had to do. They had to, you know, make sure these enemies were not weak so that, again, you'd have to level up. That's why items are so expensive in, in the game, too. Giving you more time, well, making you play it more so that you can get more stuff. Not us, though. We get the items we want, we keep on going. Because we are not just going to grind for you guys. We're going to try and get places and do things. Don't make promises we can't keep. 
We'll be on like episode 60 and just now getting the freaking crystal eye from Matoya. <laughs> that does seem about right, doesn't it? <sighs> <sighs> Not what I want to happen. At all. I'd be so happy if Sleep's heal spell was a level 2 instead of a level 3. Is that 30 damage? Yeah, that is 30 damage that token just did. That's it's better. Dead. Hooray. Well, I mean, we also have to remember that this game took a lot from D&D, including the whole, like, random factor of damage being done. Because, like, um, the spells are usually based to do, like, like, I think the fire spell is based to do between, like, 10 and 40 fire damage to an enemy. So, you know, you have, like, that huge gap of possible damage to do. Use another tent. I think I should. Are we actually trying to go in here and beat him? Well, win this area? I also have a cabin. I'd save the cabin because if we actually make it through the marsh cave and then come back out, we'll probably need the cabin to get back to the town. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. That's that's what I would probably do. I'd probably use one more tent now. Get us, yeah, maxed out on health pretty much. Then we can go in, hopefully succeed at this. I love how they added in like the bats in the caves. I actually really do like that addition. Interesting music for this dungeon too. Yay, undeads! Oh well, sleep. It's your turn. It's your time to shine. Crawl. First you were a creep. Now you crawl. I get it. Look at those poses for the bones, though. Right. They're ready. Damn. God damn it. Nine damage! So you know what's funny? Uh, I know that, uh... Oh, that was 52 damage. I know the Game Grumps were talking about this recently, but actually, it came up on a Facebook group I'm in. Um, you know the Sonic the Hedgehog, the Sonic's Harem fanfic? Do you know of that one? No. I know they made a joke about that in Sonic Doom. Well, so the Sonic Harem fanfic is a fanfic, obviously, of Sonic where he's going around and sleeping with, like, every female in everything. Like... I mean... Yeah? Let's see, how many chapters is it now? Okay, so just just so you guys get an idea. Sonic the Hedgehog Fuck And Xovers Xover. Sonic Sonic's Ultimate Harem is the name of it. And rated M of course. Oh wow, and it just got updated again, twenty one hours ago. The first chapter, apparently, is for Rogue. Oh my god. So, let, let's, let's, oh my god, this is a long Show chapter. me, show me, give me, give me an excerpt. I, I actually want to hear it. Okay, okay. Make okay. sure it's not too X-rated. I don't want to get, okay, like, um, super flagged. Nope, not that one. Oh, I kind of want to <laughs> hear it. I so, okay, I literally just scrolled to a random spot in the first chapter, right? Uh-huh. Non PG 13 warning here, guys. This is an R rating warning right now. Right. If you're a kid, cover your ears. If you're a squid, cover your god damn it! On the other hand, Sonic was having a ball Boy. with all this. The whole experience was almost unreal, as never in his life would he have ever imagined getting to meet the X Men, much less bang one of their members. But to see that. Pause. It was Pause. Pause. I'm gonna need to stop you right there. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to stop right <laughs> there. Stop right there, you criminal skull. But, but I think it's no, a description. No, 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 no. I've got many questions just off of that one sentence. 
Oh. Off of that one sentence you just read to me, yeah. I have I have I have questions. <laughs> questions. Not just questions, questions. <laughs> okay. Yeah. First and foremost, who what age is whoever wrote this? I don't know but the, <laughs> but their name. I'm not gonna specify how they spelled it because you can easily find them if you literally just type in Sonic Harem, you'll find as like the number one search result. Lil Sanic is their name. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Much less bang one of their members, but to see them- I want no more questions! <laughs> why are he fuck- why is he sleeping with the X-Men? Who X-Men? Which X-Men? Are we talking about X-Men? Like Marvel X-Men? I don't know, you asked me for an excerpt and I just scrolled. So one way or another, it's definitely rogue. Oh my. Oh my, I should not have looked up. Okay, I'm gonna continue from where I was instead. Because I know you, the viewers, are curious. Oh my god. Uh, much less bang one of their members, but to see that it was happening and that this wasn't any sort of dream, the hog had to admit this was one hell of an amazing surprise. Right as the walls clenched down on him even tighter, oh, the I... blur let out a oh. throaty growl. Oh my <laughs> god! The increase in warmth only prompting his thrust oh, okay. to become okay, 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 I'm good, 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 I'm good. That, that... Dude, I just had an idea, what if... For the rest of the Final Fantasy, just Final Fantasy 1 playthrough, I read as much of this as I could. Jay, I'm back. I almost called you Jamie. Because that sounds like some shit he would say. No! Wait, was that still our... No, that was our second fight, right? This is the second fight. Togo almost died. Okay. So we can make it through about two fights. Whoa, that XP is though. Yeah! Okay. And we almost made it to the stairs. Uh, at least let me get to the quotations part. Uh, let's see, it thrusts to become faster and far more primal, which in turn prompted far more screams from the mutants. And I'm going to read this as it's written. Uh, 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 oh, that's it. Right there, baby. Give it to me. That Stop. feels so good. Stop. That, <laughs> and why are you putting me through this? This is... Oh, no. I just wanted to end Rogue's quote. That's what I wanted to end on. I can't. So there you go, guys. If you want to read an awesome fanfic, go for it. Only if you're 18 or older, obviously. You know nothing but little kids read these you're fanfic. Right. Fire! Oh, that is hilarious. 14 damage. Oh, man. <clears throat> so guys, not that this is the common question of the day or anything, but what did you think of that? Or have you already read it some? Let us know. I can't. I can't. Did I just take 83? I took 83 and then 77 damage. What the hell? Um... Uh... Yeah, we're gonna run? Yeah. I don't think we were ready for this. Poisoned. And 32 damage. Oh god, we're not gonna be able to make it back to town, are we? My god! This is... Dumb. Well, wait, we, we used, you used the tents before we came in here, right? Correct. And you saved, right? Correct. So we can always just reset from that save. We're gonna have to, because that shit, we are getting Oh god. Wrecked. Guys, we did not know what we were in for coming in here. Jeez! <coughs> did you go into a room you shouldn't have gone into? To find a room that I shouldn't have gone into, because I saw treasure and I went for it. That's probably what you shouldn't have done. 
It was a trap. Oh. oh my god. Dude. Run. Run! Hey, like nine episodes in and it's our first game over. Not bad. Matt party perished. Is the respawn rate right? how fast they talk? It might be. See what it changes. To you. <laughs> Yay! We're not going in there. Or I mean, we can just not go into that room specifically. I want the treasure. Go for it then. No, we all die. We but did die. The treasure. I was about to say almost. Wait, what? <laughs> We might really have to level up screen. Or something, I I don't know. This makes me sad. This makes me a sad panda. Oh, well, I'm sorry guys, we failed you. We actually we died. probably got weakened by that goddamn cringy ass fanfic she was reading to me. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. Ugh. I just, I can't. I'm curious about one other thing. I'm not reading anymore. Just so you guys know, that was chapter one of 287 chapters. So, if anything, I gotta give them credit. Still not longer than that Super Smash Bros. fan fiction. That's the longest running I would say nothing is longer work of fiction that. up to date. It is so many words. It's just, it's, it's crazy. This fanfic has... 388 faves and 307 follows and it was published back in July 26th, 2013. Also has over uh has over I'm trying to see if I'm reading that right. 1115k plus words. 1115? 1115k. Okay. One, 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 plus. So that's a million. Yeah. Over a million words. So you know what, Little Sonic? Believe in yourself. Keep it going. Believe in, believe in yourself. Cause that's the place to start And I say hey You know what's the scary thought? Okay, so that's a fan fiction. Mm -hmm. So the um Fifty Shades of Grey was a fan fiction. Yep. It was in case you you people and who don't say no it just went off. Okay. So but for a little bit of trivia. Some people yeah. don't know this, but yes, Fifty Shades of Grey uh, before it was a very mediocre smut movie, um, it was most definitely a fan fiction for Twilight. Yep. But think about it: if that if that started off as fan fiction, got a cult following, got a movie. Mm -hmm. What if that shit did the same? What if what if somebody's fan fiction? Turns out like freaking Fifty Shades of Grey. Like and I've seen some fan fic. I've read some, and even myself, I was like, I shouldn't be reading this, but I just kept reading. It's like a train wreck. You have to keep on looking. I just kept reading, and I didn't stop. But yeah, what if? I mean, that's a scary. Th yeah. I guess a couple questions of the day. Is, sorry. What um? I do apologize, but what um? <laughs> Fan fiction? Would you like to see uh, turn into a movie? Do you have a favorite? Post a link to it because we may or may not check it out. Holy yeah. shit, we got some money. Nice. Me personally, I don't. Uh, it is a Smash Brothers fanfic that I was reading, but it was like a really well written one, and just I've always wanted to see like an anime or something for Smash Brothers anyway. So that would be awesome to me. I don't know why Nintendo like. They got, they, a very so good, money they got a very good that. response when they when they came out with the animated one for um 
when uh, Paul Tina got revealed, yep. that most definitely should have. They should have was like, hmm. People what were ballistic we made, over that. What if we made a Smash Bros. anime? Because let me tell you something. That motherfucker would be watched. Yep. A lot. So it would be a so popular. A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. Like, like they could bring that shit out, put it out on like Netflix as like a Netflix original or whatever, and they'd be set. It's just easy money. Right. I just don't understand. And I understand you gotta have, you gotta put together a team, and you gotta do this, and you gotta do that. But let's be real. If y'all got time to put out crappy games like that fucking Metroid Federation Force game, and yes, I am calling it shit. No, I have not played it. I don't play shit. Anyway, um, <laughs> I, I'm sorry, guys. I can't. I like Metro Prime Hunters and people mm-hmm. shit on that game. Yeah. But that daggum Federation Force game, whatever. Oh, that didn't. It just didn't. It didn't, it didn't look good. It, didn't, it looked like shovelware. That yeah. They slapped fucking Metroid's name on it. But this is a rant for another day. We yeah. gotta let y'all go. <laughs> We're taking up too much of y'all time. Yep. Thank you so much for watching us. And remember, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to become a member of the V Force. I'm starting that. That I is our, like that. The V Force. The V yeah. Force is our. That's our fans. If you want to be a member of the V Force, all you gotta do is subscribe. You're yeah. a member of the V Force. Yep. Yes, you are awesome. You are a part of the elite the YouTube elite that people don't know about yet. Anyway, you guys stay sexy. And until next time, see ya. Hit it!